stuck creating pipeline with github2 aws ec2 instance don't worry let's understand in simple step but first need to know why we connected github2 ec2 instance rather we can directly use s3 bucket which option we available on aws where we just upload and make public acl and gives permission to so in our ip addresses but it is not a good practice let's suppose client say to update some pages or make some other changes in their websites so dev upload complete project again s3 bucket but if we connected our pipeline from github repository to aws ec2 instance we don't need to update again and again it just commit automatically in my ec2 instance rather developers makes comment and makes changes whenever he want Okay, let's understand with code. Create a clone repository. Uh, first, it will be blank name AWS deploy. And now, I clone using SSH. And my device, I am using Git Bash. You can using CMD, PowerShell, or which one you have to use. Let's clone. As you see this repo completely blank there is nothing so let's navigate into this repo now i open my code editor generally i used visual studio here is my folder here is my structure now let's create a docker file for cloning image keep in mind we are using capital letter for defining i creating a static web using simple html css and javascript so i use nginx and expose on port 80 let's copy my source file to nginx directory folder user share into nginx and then html that's all above docker file we are not using and need to add anything now let's create a folder name github and into this github we are creating a another folder name workflow and into the workflow i need to create a yaml file where all my services and jobs are defined which will help to navigate my ec2 instance directly put any name nothing is special to defining name but always remember extension should be yaml i have pre-made file because i using in another project so i just match into this folder and change my repository name to aws deploy and same as here repository i also provided this yaml file code into my descriptions you can go there and copy as it is okay let's understand what this file can do first we define a name deploy to aws you should have to do and give any name and here we started our process we push into the branch here you define your main branch which, which will branch you have to deploy and after that we set environments variable let set rest into them and i will explain later when we visit our github account okay here we define some jobs 
deploy and this one is most important because the, in which machine I used in EC2 instance as same as to as deploy runs on. If we use Ubuntu, then we need to configure Ubuntu. If we use Windows Server, so we need to define here window. Now first step is checkout. First we check out through actions and login to AWS ESR. Here is ID. Here is ID login ESR. Then we have to use this AWS action to AWS ESR login at the rate version one. Then we will push our Docker image. Here some registry and tags. You have to set rest as it is, and then we run our Docker build. Which one is created here? It will create a image and deploy our EC2. Okay, first we commit our pod on GitHub. Pass a message. Deploy to EC2. Okay, git push origin. Here is a spelling mistake. Let's see. We just uploaded our code. Now time to create our environment variable on github repo go to the settings choose secret and variable then actions create new repository secrets first we set our public ip go to the instance copy address paste here add secret for creating next secret first we are creating first we need to creating a im role for creating im role you just search im go to the im you can see dashboard choose users create users username aws deploy i just put same name everywhere because i don't want any conflicts create user here we create a user now we need to connect esr sorry ecr let's go and search ecr here we get container registry if this is your first then you get just like this dashboard get started same as we defined in our yaml file aws deploy then create repository go to aws deploy here you see there is no image ok let's go to your IAM select your username and then go to security credential create access key choose CLI give confirmation then next blank then next here you get your access key and secret key copy your access key go to the github create new secret here you need to upload your access key ok add secret now need to connect another secret access key this one is here let's copy and paste add secret and one and last we need to connect our ssh here is our SSH. Remember one thing. In this variable, we just upload our SSH, which one is connected our EC2 instance. Where you find? 
you just see your key pair which when you download it copy paste now our setup is complete let's see go to our actions here you can see we are failed don't worry just rerun all jo all failed jobs and check your deploy and once it is started you are seeing your jobs here maybe it will take some time so don't worry we forget one step after this job will successfully completed and when we are fetching our given ip so we got error because we need to set our inbound traffic so for invent inbound traffic select your wizard go to your security group as you can see i already set here if you don't have set then add rule select http and choose your custom and set anywhere ip let's check our jobs are completed copy my ip here i paste continue let's our project run on our ec2 instance okay let's take a short summary what are doing here first we create a repository name aws deploy then we created two important file one is docker file and second is deployment yaml file in docker file we just write our nginx script where we copy our all completed folder from here and paste into nginx html and then we created a yaml file where we just impose our main branch and set some environment variable then define some jobs after that we push our code on github and set some secret variables secret variables here and created ec2 instance and also created a ecr group if we refresh then we can see image here which one come from docker we create a iam So this is our project and today we learn how we host our EC2 instance with the help of GitHub Actions. Thank you for watching. Please let's connect with us for more updates.